Wildlife on the Rockies, by Enose, Mills presents an intimate portrayal of the natural world through a series of essays that explore the diverse ecosystems and wildlife of the Rocky Mountains. Mills, often referred to as the father of Rocky Mountain National Park, combines his keen observational skills with a deep reverence for nature, resulting in a work that is both informative and evocative. Mills' narrative style is characterized by its vivid and detailed descriptions, bringing to life the flora and fauna of the Rockies. His ability to paint scenes with words allows readers to visualize the pristine landscapes and the behaviors of the animals he encounters. For instance, he describes the subtle changes in the environment with the onset of different seasons, capturing the dynamic interplay between living organisms and their habitats. This attentiveness to detail not only highlights the beauty of the Rockies but also underscores the intricate balance within natural ecosystems. The book delves into the lives of various animals, offering insights into their habits, struggles, and interactions. Mills' observations are grounded in his personal experiences and extensive fieldwork, lending authenticity to his accounts. He writes about the resilience of mountain lions, the industriousness of beavers, and the elusive nature of the lynx, among others. Each animal is portrayed with a sense of individuality, emphasizing the diversity and complexity of life in the Rockies. Mill's respect for wildlife is evident throughout his writings, he often reflects on the intelligence and adaptability of animals, challenging readers to reconsider their own perceptions of these creatures. Human impact on the environment is a recurring theme in Wildlife on the Rockies. Mills frequently contrasts the untouched wilderness with areas affected by human activity, advocating for the preservation of natural landscapes. His work is imbued with an early conservationist ethos, promoting the idea that humans have a responsibility to protect and coexist with nature. Mills' first-hand observations of the negative effects of logging, hunting, and development serve as a poignant reminder of the fragility of natural habitats and the need for sustainable practices. Mills' writing is not purely observational, it also carries a philosophical undertone. He often contemplates the interconnectedness of all living things and the profound sense of peace and fulfillment that nature can provide. His reflections are imbued with a sense of wonder and humility, acknowledging the limitations of human understanding in the face of nature's vastness. This philosophical dimension adds depth to his essays, encouraging readers to engage with nature not just as passive observers but as active participants in the web of life. The structure of Wildlife on the Rockies is episodic, with each chapter focusing on a different aspect of the Rockies or a particular species. This format allows for a comprehensive exploration of the region's biodiversity, while also making the book accessible and engaging. Mill's use of anecdotes and personal stories enhances the narrative, making the scientific information more relatable and compelling. His enthusiasm for nature is infectious, inspiring readers to develop a deeper appreciation for the natural world. In summary, Wildlife on the Rockies is a testament to Enos A. Mill's passion for nature and his dedication to conservation. Through eloquent prose and meticulous observations, Mills captures the essence of the Rockies and its inhabitants, offering a timeless exploration of the beauty and complexity of the natural world. His work continues to resonate with readers, reminding us of the enduring importance of preserving our natural heritage for future generations.